Welcome back. This is Maximize. How's it going, guys? So today I wanted to go over one of my favorite plants, but one of my struggling plants. The corn plant. The Dracaena Madagascar? Someone once commented like what it probably is and that person was right and I can't remember the name of it now. The exact variety because there's probably like 40 varieties that look very similar to this but they're all like just slightly different. I haven't made like an update video about this plant in so long so I really wanted to just kind of showcase it, be real with y'all and tell you my struggles with it and my triumphs I guess? Uh, triumph is a strong word. I don't know if I could say that. It's one of my favorite plants by far and I believe in it and that's why I've been holding on to it for years. I've literally had this plant for like three to four years now and I won't let it go. Like it looks bad right now <laughs> but I won't let it go because I know the potential it has and I want to bring it with me wherever I move next and give it like so much light because this plant can grow really quickly if you provide bright light for it. Um, I had a cat Wesley, um, for those that don't know, who would destroy it. Like that's what all these markings are from. It's from Wesley. <laughs> he was like a plant murderer and this was his like favorite plant to murder slowly with his teeth and claws and mind. That's why it looks so messed up and that's why I had to cut a lot of these lower leaves here. That's why it's so weird looking right now. Um, it's because Wesley would just rip it to shreds. I wanted to give you guys an update and like some updated care tips for the corn plant and Dracaenia. Okay, so the main reason I love this plant is because it looks so jungly but without all the maintenance that other jungle plants require. Like it really is not picky with humidity, with anything like that. I mean this I feel embarrassed to show you guys this plant because it looks so bad. But like I said, it's producing new leaves right now. Like see this one back here is a new leaf and it looks, it looks beautiful. So I have moved it now into the living room where it's more in low light, but it fills out this corner that really I needed to be filled in with something. It was just a very empty corner. So I put it over there in lower light, which I'm nervous about because before it was in my bedroom where it got medium light and now it's probably more medium to low. Um, but this guy really thrives in bright, indirect light. Um, I remember when I had it in my brightest corner in my apartment before Wesley attacked it repeatedly, multiple occasions. It would grow so quickly. It would produce new leaves like right on top of each other, one after the other. So if you have that available to you, definitely put it in a bright indirect corner. But it also is growing new leaves in medium to low light. So it's a very multi uh, environment plant. That's not how you should say it. Bright and direct light and then I keep it in a terracotta pot as you can see it's very aged. Like I'm honestly worried it's gonna like break <laughs> because it's so old and like crusty looking. <laughs> but I keep it in terracotta because that is it allows the soil to release a lot of excess moisture and it loves that. It loves fast draining soil. It doesn't like to sit in wet soil because that's how you create root rot. That's how you invite gnats into your life and believe me if you haven't had gnats good for you keep it that way keep your soil dry between waterings okay please <laughs> for your own sanity okay i keep it in 100 percent cactus mix and it seems to love that i fertilize it in the warmer months every other watering i give it just a normal like house plant fertilizer and it seems to love that Although it doesn't really require it. It's kind of like the pothos where it's like, eh, like if you want, I guess, but you don't necessarily have to. It's just a very easy going plant. So right now I really wanted to trim these like these injured bits <laughs> and I have my cutting scissor thingies. I don't know what to call them. Clippers. Clippers. So I'm just going to like clip off pieces and you can do this if you have like rough parts of your leaf. Um, just to make it look a little nicer because I don't know why these just look so gross sometimes and You can do it to a point so it doesn't look quite as weird So it's always good to like groom your plants and like just trim back a lot of the unsightly things I wish I could do that to my face just cut unsightly things off without you know 
cutting my face off. <laughs> this plant collects a lot of dust, okay? A lot. So you're gonna have to take a wet paper towel or damp paper towel and wipe down the leaves every, you know, week or two. Otherwise it's gonna start looking like really rough. <laughs> so I have a wet paper towel here and I'm just gonna wipe it down. And that also, you know, it, it, it just adds like humidity to the leaves. It adds moisture in the air for the plant to absorb. Um, so it always appreciates getting washed. And the frequency of watering for this guy, I literally only water it maybe every three weeks. I'm not even kidding. Um, and I probably could water it a little more often, but it doesn't require much water hardly at all. So if you're watering it every week, I would say to dial back a little bit, especially if it's in lower light. And this plant has never had any pests. As long as I've had it for three to four years, even when plants next to it had a pest, it still never got anything. It never gets sick. It's just a very strong, amazing plant. And anytime someone asks me like, oh, what bigger plant should I get? You know, for this corner in my house. And they're new to house plants, I always say get a corn plant or get a Dracaenia of some kind that looks like this <laughs> because it adds that tropical energy that most people like in their house but it's so easy and it doesn't need much water. So guys, that's my update on my corn plant. I know it's looking so rough and I'm honestly like a little embarrassed about it, but you know, to be honest, I blame Wesley 100% because he he killed so many leaves and that's why it's like, ugh, it just looks so crappy. So I'm trying to do my best to have it grow in completely because I will not give up on this plant. There's three of them in here. And I believe at least one of them can can do it. Snap, snappy, make it snappy. I might move it into a brighter position in my house at some point, but right now my ficus is so happy right next to the window and my umbrella tree that like I'm limited on space. Like I hate that I'm limited. I wish I had a mansion of all south facing windows somehow, <laughs> if that's a thing. Right now it's in medium to lower light and um, we're just gonna see how she does this summer um, in that place. But right now she's still producing leaves, so I'm happy to see that. I'll keep an eye out, and if she stops growing, then I'll definitely move her because I believe that we can bounce back. As I said, I highly recommend this plant. Please go get one if you don't have one. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. Please like, please comment, and let me know what you want to see. Please turn on that notification bell so you know every time I post. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!